Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? All right. Watch Speak No Evil. Another, uh... Sorry to the comment section. Like, man, how come you guys don't find any good movies to recommend? Well, I... What do you want me to do? It's a fucking drought out here, man. It is what it is. Uh, another terrible movie. No, I don't recommend. Barely worth reviewing in the first place, to be honest with you. There's nothing here, but I guess beginning of the movie, tension buildups and storyline buildups that they do callbacks for later on that you don't even care about. Right? The, what was it? The, the, the shit that helps the girl sleep or something or help her breathe. The little bunny rabbit phone app or something <laughs> that's this is breathe in and breathe out that that made a callback to like confuse the bad guys like oh shit someone's over here they're breathing really heavily like, oh it's on the, oh i got confused it's actually the phone app doing that shit trash uh jesus christ uh fuck uh the the the, the people that are supposed to be the good guys are had many chances to escape but plot devices led them back to the place where James McAvoy and the hot redhead chick are at. Uh, was it the, the, she left her bunny behind? Or maybe someone, maybe one of the bad guys took it and hid it somewhere and then made them come back for that. Why they would know that that would work, I don't know. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, I think the kids found the secret barn where he has a, a random photo album of all the people of shit he's seen, like people he's <laughs> robbed and I guess killed before or something. He has just has a random photo out photo album there that this kid knew about, and they didn't cover it back up with hay, so the trap door was like kind of revealed. And then dipshit good guy dad threw the ball over the, was his name Ben or something. He threw the ball over the guy's head, and it, they do like oh, wh as I'm going to get this football, well. Or rugby ball, or whatever it is. Like, oh shit, the hay's missing from my trap door. <laughs> Something <laughs> must be afoot. Damn, I must be on my uh, P's and Q's here now. Extra suspicious. Like, what the fuck? Also, like, I, I, I got confused here. I didn't. I thought the whole thing was that it's going to be some sort of like psychopathic horror movie thing. Maybe Cape Fear like, like he's like Robert De Niro and Cape Fear, like crazy, crazy. Like he has some sort of maybe mental purpose for things, whether he like something he makes up in his own mind, like, oh, God, God's loving you. Angels told me to do this, or, you know, the devil told me to do this, or some sort of weird thing that he made up because he's crazy, he's quote unquote crazy, right? But apparently it was just about money. I guess, like robbing these fools. <laughs> so it's like, yo, why are you treating your fake son like shut? What was his name? Ann? Andy? Or Ann? Or some shit like that? Why are you treating them like shit and like giving away that you're like a, a weirdo to these people if you just want to rob them? Or if you're uh, just a psycho and you're just doing psycho shit, why? <laughs> What's with all the, like the the kind of logistics of committing a crime. <laughs> Why do you have like goons like running like the fucking uh, what was it like the, the like a restaurant or something? He has like goons working in all over the place and shit like that. Like, how can we have this all planned out like this? If you're just like you're just a crazy psycho, uh, toxic masculine psycho. Why is that happening? So it's, it's, there's a bunch of broken logic in this movie to me. Uh, I think it's <laughs> God. Maybe this is a new style of horror movies. Because I'm starting to see this quite a bit now. Where it's... Majority of the movie is build up, build up, build up, build up. Knowing that once they reveal what's happening, you're not going to like it. So that's why they spend so much time doing build up. And these motherfuckers have been hanging around these fools. At least, like, you know, relative to on screen, on, on screen time. It's like... Wow, these guys have been here for like fucking days or weeks or something, and they they were hanging out in Italy together or whatever the fuck. And, uh, they have their fucking phone numbers and like they exchange phone numbers. Like these guys got to know each other and all that shit. Like all that build up, and then once once it's revealed, <laughs> the movie just goes to full wreckage and full bullshit. 
And it's like, is that like a trick that directors and writers are doing in order to get us to wa- keep watching the fucking movie instead of walking out of the theater or turning the fucking screen off or whatever the fuck, wherever you're watching it at? Like, is that the, like, to, to, to delay us from doing that by just doing build up for so fucking long? And then once it's reveal time, it just goes by like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Like, it, it's a hustle, man. It, I have to call it a hustle at this point. Uh, this movie's not worth watching. There's no point to watch it. Go watch a good fucking horror movie or a crime movie because I don't know which one it, this movie is. Uh, I do totally do not recommend. Uh, I think I'm going 5.9 out of 10. 5.9. Maybe 6. 5.9, 6 out of 10. The build-up was like... I can't give build-up credit because they know they're leading me to nowhere and to bullshit. They know they're leading me to shit I won't like. So, like, build-up... Like, how do I give that credit? Like, they know it's going nowhere. And then at a, cer- at a certain point, when you realize that the build-up just keeps going, it's like, okay, they're going to lead us to straight wreckage. This is going to go nowhere. So as a cat, how do I give that credit? So yeah, five point nine, six out of ten. Anyone else want to say anything? Nope. Of course not. So we are out of here. There's the review for Speak No Evil. Good God, do not go see it. Do not spend money on this. <laughs>